In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a torn paper effect like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Now, the first thing you need when you want to create this effect is the brush. The brush is the most unique thing about the whole of this. So to get this brush, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go to brushbreezy.com to get it. So this is the website that you're going to download the brush. Once you get here, you're just going to click on download here. And you may also watch my video on how to download and install brushes if you want to get your way around this very faster. Now, once you download it and you have something like WinRap, when you open it, this is what you're going to see. And then it says that torn paper brushes. So you're going to just double click on it and then it is going to install inside of your Photoshop. And once you've done this, we are ready to make the effect. So now here in Photoshop, we are going to import the picture that you want to use. So I'll quickly open my image. It is on my desktop. So I'll just open it up like that. So if you're able to install your brush very carefully, when you select your brush, that is B for the brush. And then you right click, you should be able to see the torn paper brushes over here. If you are using a different version of Photoshop, you might not actually see torn paper, but it should definitely show up in your brushes. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create an empty layer on top of this picture. So we go to the layers here and then we go to create new layer. So the empty layer. And then we are going to choose our brush tool. So B for the brush tool. And then you make sure that your torn paper brush effect is selected. So by default, you're going to have a brush like this general brush over here. We are not going to use this one. You need to scroll down to the torn paper brush effect. And in this case, I'm using the brush number three, which worked very well for me. But depending on the image that you are using, you might want to change it. So we want to position it somewhere around here or anywhere that you want to position it somewhere around here should be fine for me. And then you make sure your foreground color is white and then you can left click just one left click should be fine. So it is going to create this effect for you. Once you're done with this, quickly go back to your main image and then we are going to make a duplicate of that. So control plus J to make that duplicate. So after that, we're going to send it on top of the layer that we created. So you left click and hold and then you drag it on top. Now, once we drag it on top, you want to right click on it and create a clipping mask. So we want to put it right inside of the brush effect that we created. So you realize that this is colored and this also is colored. So we can't see the difference. So what we need to do from here is we are going to desaturate it or turn this one to black and white so that we can see the difference. To do that, you go to image and then you go to adjustment and then you are going to choose the saturate. So the shortcut is control plus shift plus U. So the moment you do that, this in itself has already created an effect for you now to even spice it some more we want to add one more empty layer to it so on top of that and then we are going to right click and create a clipping mask so it also has to be inside of the effect that we just created and once you've done this go back and choose your brush tool again and then you can create some brushes or strokes around here so let's go or you can even make this one a bit bigger so somewhere around here and then one left click and then we can come at the bottom here and make one more left click as well so something like that should be fine now once i'm done with this i can easily go back to my main image and then i can add some levels to it to make it a bit more oh that's too much a bit more yellowish like that and then i can click ok and just like that you create a very simple paper tone effect within a few minutes so you can use this for your social media profiles your whatsapp your instagram and all that to do that you can easily go to crop and then over here you're going to type in 600 by 600 pixels and then you're going to have something like this that you can use for your social media profiles yeah i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel would be so very much appreciated and let me know if you want to see some short more short content like this and i'll be glad to bring it up to you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye